Hey everyone, it is Amanda. Thanks so much for watching this video. So as I said last week, or not my last video, sorry, um, I had recently purchased another Pelican pin and I was really, really excited about it. I think I had mentioned it in that video. Um, but anyways, I got this, just received this pin last week. Um, but right after I received it, I had to take a emergency trip to Arkansas. So I was able to go back to that very first um, brick and mortar store, that the pen store that I went to a couple of weeks ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and there I purchased another fountain pen. I know, surprise, surprise. Go into a pen store, come out with a pen. Um, so anyways, I was really, really excited about it, but I do promise, because I have to be good, um, I'm not going to be purchasing any more pens until May, because May is my birthday, and we're taking a family vacation to Chicago, and I plan on visiting a pen store there, um, so I have to be good, or else no pen for me when I go to Chicago. <clears throat> Um, I will say just as a little disclaimer, I do have one more pen coming because at the beginning of the year, um, I had put in an order for a custom made pen and that is going to be started this week. So I'm really excited about getting that in um, and seeing it. So of course I will be doing a review, but today I'm going to be sharing the two new pens that I got. So I'm going to show you the one that I got from the pen store and it is this beautiful limited copper edition of the Vanishing Point and let's see I've got number 1813 out of 2014 um, and I so I really wish you could see how beautiful this pen is because it's it's just it's so pretty and this is not even going to do it any justice. But there it is. And then, of course, you click. And there's the nib. Let me do a close-up. Of course, you can't see all the detail. Um, this pen fits really, really well in, in my hand. I ordered it, or I didn't order it. I purchased it with a medium nib. Um... And a lot of, I had posted this on the Fountain Pen Network um, Facebook site, um, our Facebook page I should say, and posted a picture of it and of course received a ton of likes and comments. And it was really nice to get to hear other people who have a vanishing point and how much they loved theirs. Um, just because when I went into the store, <clears throat> which I had been considering getting a vanish point for oh gosh, six months now, just because I had seen it and I was like, just the convenience of, of having the vanishing point is, is huge because one, it could be my everyday carry, really and honestly, just because it is so convenient. And most, they're stunning. Um, it's just, it's something that's really neat. Um, and there are people, when I would read reviews and just different things, people that had never used a vanishing point would always ask, does um, the clip get in the way? And a lot of people say, no, it doesn't. And actually, somebody had posted one of the comments on the um, picture that I had posted, said it actually encourages um, to write properly with a fountain pen, and I have to agree. Um, I mean, because as far as your finger placement and just and how you hold the pen, how you write, it just everything, it's it's really pretty. Um, I love how this writes. I did a writing sample for you in my Rhodia pad here. Um, so here you can see um, there's... You know, it's the Pilot Vanishing Point, the Copper 2014. I have it inked with um, Diamine Terracotta. Um, there is a couple of the figure eights and just there's not a whole lot of line variation. Um, but you can see the shading that is in the ink right here. And um, the nib for a steel nib, so smooth. 
no feedback, no scratchy. Like, I mean, this is a dream to write with. I love it. I really, really do. I think it comes into like a really close second or ties um, for my Pelican M400. I mean, this is honestly, this is going to be some tough competition, really. Um, I do see it. I'm actually considering um, purchasing like one of those pen sleeves um, just so I can carry this with me everywhere where I don't have to carry um, not that I don't have to because I like carrying my fountain pens um, but just if I'm on the go or if I just want to put it in in my little purse um, I don't have to take my entire um, 12 case um, pens um, or 12 pen case yes anyways so I think it would be very nice, very convenient, and I do. That's one of the things that I like about it. It is, it's just really, really nice. Um, so very, very pleased with that. And I'll go ahead and leave the store name in the description box below. And I, I believe they have a website, and so you can go and visit. Um, I will say, because it was my very first, um, oh, like, first experience walking into like an actual pen store is amazing. There's no words to describe it. There isn't. Um, of course, all of you know that I love found pens and I'm very passionate about my pens and I love to talk about them because I think there's, there's, you know, history with found pens and you never get bored with them. You can't because you have so many different papers that you can use and inks and everything. So many of you know that if you watch my videos and you follow me, you know that I love fountain pens. So walking into a store that has, you know, a wall that's covered like a display case, the length of the store, just pen, fountain pens galore. And then behind there being shelves of inks and everything. It's just, it's amazing. They're really, there's no words to describe it. And I'm actually, one of my pen pals has been talking about the Dallas Pen Show. And I'm like, man, just how crazy it was for me to go into an actual store. I can't even imagine going to an actual pen show that has two conference rooms full of pens and inks and people that enjoy talking about fountain pens. Because let me tell you, the struggle is real. People that don't use fountain pens and don't have the same obsession with fountain pens, they don't get it. They really don't. I know I had shared on that fountain pen network page on Facebook, I went to add a line to our cell phone carrier and I went to write out my check with my fountain pen and the guy that was helping was like, Oh, that is so cool. Can I look at it? And of course, I was using my white um, Pelican M400 white tortoise. And so I was signing away and he asked to look at it, which I'm very careful. And so I was, you have to take care of this pen because it's very special. And he was like, you know, how much did it cost? And he was kind of taken aback. But I, again, I say everybody has their own little thing that they like to do. For my husband, it's golf. Like he can spend a lot of money on golf clubs and going to different golf courses. And, and me, it's, it's fountain pens. So everybody has their little thing that they like to collect or whatever. And so to me, that's everybody does it, whatever. And so anyways, um, I was like, you know, and he's he had said, I want to get a fountain pen. And I suggested, I said, you know, a great starter is the Pilot Metropolitan. And I just so happened to have one in my wallet because he had asked, well, do I get a medium nib or a fine nib? And I said, well, I have one that it's a fine nib. And I said, it's all, the, it's really your preference, which you prefer. If you want a, a, a more medium um, line, then get a medium nib but I had I said this way you can see and he wrote his name and he's like this is so cool he ended up purchasing a fountain pen right then and there so I thought that was pretty cool but again like nobody really if I tell that to my husband he's like so 
he, he bought a farm pet. Um, but nobody gets how exciting it is to get somebody else that's interested. And of course, I suggested a couple of websites to go ahead and look on. And also, I said YouTube is great for reviews and whatnot. Um, that way, if you have questions about fountain pens or you want to learn more about fountain pens, that's, that's where to go. And so last but not least, I got this baby in the mail two weeks ago. And let me tell you, this is my first, it has um, an oblique medium nib on it. And it's my very first oblique. And I didn't know what to think. I know I had seen writing samples and they're cool um, because they are different than you know, an italic nib or um, a stub. So anyways, I was really, really excited because I was like, you know, I want to try it out. Want to see how I like it. It is a 1950s model. So it is a used pen. It isn't brand new. And you always have to be really careful. Um, make sure you, if you're going to purchase them from eBay, make sure it's a trusted buyer. Um, and that's one of the things that it's, you never know what you're going to get until you get it. Um, but I got a really, really nice pen. This is the green striped. Again, you can, this camera doesn't do it justice and I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so I may get, um, may get my camera. Um, but there is, because it's a used pen, there is some, you know, minimal like you know what I would call like usage scratches on it they're not deep scratches but just if if it was you know next to pins or not kept in in a carrier it, it can happen but anyways um like there's no like deep scratches or cracks um but it is really really nice there's you know the clip on it and I'll do a close-up of the nib, which, again, you're not going to totally see. But it is a solid 14 karat gold. And I did a writing sample with this. And, oh, I'll also show you. And, um, nope, fits really well. Writes really well. I did have to, you know, flush in everything because there was leftover... Um, ink and everything that was in the pen and cap and nib so that's always fun when you buy used pens but anyways um, once I got it flushed and dried I went ahead and did a writing sample here it is the Pelican M400 1950s and then it has the OM nib there I did a couple of figure eights and showed you some line variation and that is the ink that I have in there. And then the statement, love this nib. That's an understatement, really is. Um, I'm really, really happy with this purchase. I am. Um, I couldn't be more pleased. It, it's just, it's a beautiful pen. And I really am liking my flock of pelicans. Um, but it, it, it's nice. I When I went to that pen store this last week, um... I did want to see about adding even another one, um, but they only had extra fine and fine nibs in the pen size that I was looking for. Um, I, I like how the M400 feels, even the M600, but um, all they had in there was the extra fine and fine, and I was wanting either broad or double broad, just because I like a real nice, thick, juicy line. I, I just love it. I love to see sheen on ink and that sort of thing. Um, that's one of the things that I like, the Diamine Terracotta, is the, the um, shading in that ink. It's just, it's beautiful. And I like the fact that the medium nib, even though there's not a lot of variation, line variation, you can still see the shading with that. Um, so very nice. I like the color combination. I did purchase a bottle of Dymine Emerald ink. And so once I finish using um, the Jade in my Pelican, that's what I'm going to ink it up with next. So really exciting. And so again, this was... Well, my um, custom-made pen is going to be the last 
pen review that I do for a little bit until I get that custom made pen in. Um, but again, so I'm really excited um, about my recent pen purchases. I was thinking about doing uh, my next video as a Q&A. So if you have any questions, I would love to answer them. If you'll just leave the questions in the comments down below, and then I would like to do a question and answer with you guys. That you guys can ask me questions to get to know me a little bit more, or pen questions, whatnot. Again, if you'll keep in mind, I have only been doing this for a couple of years. Um, so I'm pretty new at it, but I would love to get to know you guys better and vice versa. So I think this is the perfect time. Um, but anyways, that's it for right now. Again, please don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you.